Happy birthday, Windows Server. I don't know if you remember me. We met back in 1996. You see, I was a workstation and desktop kind of guy, mainly because I was involved with banding vines at the time. But NT351 came along and I was hooked. I got certified as an MCSE, progressed on to NT4, did a lot of consulting jobs back in the day for domain design and how that all worked, but it really got me hook and sinker when we were talking about Active Directory as this new thing that was coming. So much so that I ended up becoming one of the founding members of the MCSC 2000 category back in the day. All so long ago. Well, it's been a good time. You're still looking good. Keep it up. Plenty more to come. Hey everyone, I'm Sarah Young, and to celebrate Thirtieth birthday of Windows Server, I thought I'd think about what I was doing in 1993. Now, I was actually in my first year at school, so possibly not working on enterprise IT, but I was learning Windows with my dad. I also found in my bookcase this very cool little book that I wrote when I was six. Now I'm going to cover up my finger so you can't see my exact date of birth, but yeah, that's what I was up to. Look at that great handwriting. Happy birthday, Windows NT 3.1. Uh, 1993, I had just graduated from college, uh, but I was in technology, had been since I was 13 years old, running uh, phone and token ring cabling. So the ability to have a client server hub and spoke type of network with Cat3 or Cat5 cable was a game changer. Hi, this is Richard Campbell from Run As Radio. And back in 1993, we were building an application using Sybase 4.2 on NT3.1 with Visual Basic on the front end. And I remember just how reliable the NT3.1 machine was compared to all of those Windows for Workgroups machines and even the Visual Basic app. Congratulations on 30 years. I still count on it every day and can't believe it's been that long. Hi, my name's Aaron Thomas and my memory of Windows Server is I've written a lot of books about the operating system. 7290, Windows Server 2003. Japanese version of the book, uh, Windows Server 2003 Network, grading your certification to Windows Server 2003. Windows Server Administration is for Windows Server 2008. Booking Russian on Windows Server 2008. Windows Server Enterprise Administration. Then transitioning your MCSE or MCSA to Windows Server 2008. Windows Server 2008 R2. Advanced Windows Server 2012 services. Administering Windows Server 2012. Administering Windows Server 2012 R2. Configuring advanced Windows Server 2012 R2 services. Windows Server 2016 inside out. Windows Server 2019 inside out. Administering Windows Server Hybrid Core Infrastructure. Configuring Windows Server Hybrid Advanced Services. Wow, 30 years. Happy birthday, Windows Server. I was six at the time, so it felt like Windows Server was growing up alongside me and my career. Windows NT 3.1, the foundation for all modern servers, was released in 1993, a year after Windows 3.1 was released. Let's take a brief look into some of the major features over the past three decades. Windows Server 2000 brought Active Directory, simplifying network and identity management. Windows Server 2003 introduced enhanced security and improved the performance. Windows Server 2008 delivered virtualization capabilities with Hyper-V, which now powers the Microsoft Cloud. Windows Server 2012 embraced the cloud with more Azure integration. Windows Server 2016 brought software-defined networking and enhanced security. Windows Server 2019 offered hybrid cloud connectivity and container support. And now Windows Server 2022 presents unprecedented levels of performance and security built on the learnings and foundation over the past three decades. I've had a privilege of using all the versions of Windows Server over my career, and it's only going to get better. Happy birthday, Windows Server. My first memory of working with Windows Server goes back to the summer of 93. I was working for an oil company and I had a background in chemical engineering, but by that point I had moved into our IT group. Although we didn't call it IT, we called it computing back then. We were setting up our first three PC servers and I remember installing Windows NT 3.1 Advanced Server. It was a really long name and it came with a giant stack of floppies. I really don't miss floppies. 30 years later, Windows Server is still going strong. Happy birthday, Windows Server. Hi everyone, I'm Greg Lowe from Melbourne in Australia. I was working with Windows ever since it started. And in 1993, I remember that how Microsoft brought the power of a graphical interface to a server-based operating system. Happy birthday, Windows Server. 
The first time I touched Windows Server was in the year 2000. There were two physical servers at the company, running Windows NT Server. You had to enter the physical server room and use the console built into the rack to log into either box. These two servers did everything. One was the primary domain controller and one was the backup domain controller. It was an incredibly daunting task logging into the servers for the first time, with the risk of bringing down many of the company's resources with an accidental wrong click using the clunky rollerball mouse. Happy 30th birthday, Windows Server. You're the reason I got a transfer into the IT department at my company when we were rolling out Windows NT Server to the branches. At that time, head office was using Novell servers and the branches were still on mainframe terminals. Well, a lot has changed since then for both of us. But we're both still committed to infrastructure workloads and the amazing people that run them.